Right. What's up, everybody? We got another episode of Cooking Outside with the Schmidt. So, uh, it's been a minute, so here I am, getting ready to do some cook um, on the Blackstone. Um, got a little assistance today from my uh, cast iron skillet because I need whole juices. A little bit harder to do on the Blackstone, but I'm still doing it on the Blackstone plus everything else. So, tonight we're doing beef and broccoli. Um, should be good, right? I mean, we don't like beef and broccoli. Um, and then I was told, I was told that last night when I cooked, I didn't videotape it, but last night I used too much griddle juice. And so, I was asked tonight not to use griddle juice. So, all right, make her happy. I won't use griddle juice tonight. So we're gonna cook no griddle juice. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna do up some beef and broccoli. Um, so let's get started, right? So I went ahead and mixed everything up already. Soy sauce. A uh, little bit of water, a couple of bouillon cubes, some brown sugar, and some sesame oil. Here come the rain. It's so already mixed that up, so we're going to go ahead and put that in. Nope, not yet. We're going to cook the meat first. We got the meat. Started using some avocado oil. My dad told me about that one. He said that it uh, allows more heat or get hotter without burning. So I'm checking it out. That is normally not wrong. So I'll check it out. I'm using a plank steak for my beef. That part going to cook pretty quick. So I'm going to go ahead and put my sauce in. I don't know why I get excited when I cook this stuff because it always turns out so cool. It's like, you know? Put a little pepper on here. Again, season to taste. Go ahead, taste it. Make sure it's right. So good. Um, riddle. Cooking, I went ahead and made 
Uh huh, you get the crab ragu. So I got my other cast iron skillet of oil heating up on the grill. It's like a frying in that. And uh, it's smelling good already. I mean, phenomenal. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna cook some crab ragu. It's like the whole. Asian Thai, I'm not sure what it's all called or which category it is, so don't take offense, but cooking it all up tonight. Super looks good. I think my griddle got a little slant to it. Sorry. Keep them juicy. Got a little rain going. Good thing I made a roof over the kitchen. Got some moths flying around. Some moths flying. No, I'm not gonna do that. I want to eat a piece, though. It's oh, so good, so good. All right, so steak. Now we put it to sauce. That's gonna make my my sauce slash gravy. Let that finish cooking in there. All right, I have to. It, it just looks so. I, I have to. I love cooking. I love it. All right, now I'll stir it up up in here. Where my mitt go? There it is. That wasn't it. All right, well, it's, it's in there. All right, so meat to soak in here while this boils up a little bit. Kind of simmer, not really boiled. Medium heat. I found I really don't cook anything on some searing on high heat. Everything's on like low. You get a little more control that way too. Sizzle, love that sound. All right, now. Plan it out so I know what fits because you gotta be ready. You can't just jump in and try and cook and not have it planned out, right? So, 
There, broccoli's in. Grab my water. And my lid. Oh, you like that? I burnt my bottle. That sucks. All parts are cooking. This is gonna be crazy good. Look at that. Oh. Oh. So with my broccoli, I got fresh broccoli cut it up off the stock, everything. None of that frozen stuff. I try and do fresh whenever I can. It just tastes so much better. And then you're not gonna get this. All right, look, look. You're not gonna get this from the frozen broccoli, okay? Look at that green. Damn, yeah. I mean, you're just not gonna get that from frozen broccoli, so. Whenever you can, use, use the fresh. All right. Now. All right, so now, this has all been going good. So now we're gonna add a little bit of cornstarch. Tablespoon or so of cornstarch. Stir that up. That's going to thicken the juice, make you that gravy. And then once that's stirred up, you do a little bit more. Kind of judge your own uh, thickness, whatever the hell that word is. I can't think of right now. Uh, I'll probably remember it tonight. But whatever you want, however thick you like it. I kind of doubled the batch because I was making a lot. So I don't know how much I'm going to use. So just kind of do it to. to you like the consistency of the, is that the right word? Whatever. You know what I mean. See, all right, I can see it's starting to thicken up. So I think I'm good with uh, cornstarch. You don't want too thick, you want you know, a gravy. Because that juice in there, that's gonna be your gravy and what you put on your rice. Which, I skipped that on the rice today. I didn't do it on the griddle. See, I'm already full. So I just did that, had the wife do that in the kitchen. See in the kitchen? All right, yeah, look at that. Thicken it up nice. So now we'll add our broccoli. So I've actually been dying to use this bad boy. And if I would've had rice, I would've been able to use it. But since I don't have rice, I'm gonna use it for my broccoli, just so I can say I used it. This thing is... Nice! Okay, so if I was using a spatula, that would have taken that would have taken quite a few times to do. So already worth it. Oh, then we're gonna stir it up. Look at that. Beef and broccoli is done. Holy cow! Like. 
And then, I don't know, I hope you guys like them. I like my videos. I do them for fun, you know, because I like to videotape them. I like to cook. I like to share, you know, my experiences and whatnot. Look at that. Wow. Close and simmer. All right, so now we're gonna do the wonton, or not the wontons, but the uh, crab ragoons. I might have that a little too hot. It'll cool down here in a minute. Alright, songs are not doing too well. Gotta be careful because I'm gonna over flame. So I don't want to overfill and fill the oil out. So always be careful when you're doing cooking with open flame and Stuff like that. It could be dangerous. Always be careful. All right, so. I had it a little too hot, but the next next round will be good. So you just cook them till they golden brown. At least that's what I read. Ha! They smell good. Flipping phenomenal up in here. They definitely cook fast. I'm glad I cooked them last. And I got some uh, chili sauce. Got some lightning going on out there. I got the chili sauce to dip them in. Mmm. All right, so she been simmering. Crab ragoons are done. So, I mean, they didn't turn out too bad, you know, look at that, a couple little dark, but not bad, right? All right, let's see how it is looking. <laughs> I love to flip and cook. Flip and, oh. Man, oh, look at that. the gravy is just perfectly not too thick. All right, well, and that's today's episode: beef and broccoli and crab ragoon. So, y'all get out there and cook. I want to see what you got. But even though I couldn't do it tonight, don't forget the griddle juice. All right, y'all have a good one. Catch you next time.